So, this will be the first training uh, walk of, I'm going to call it a walk today, of 2024. My preparation for uh, hikes this year and uh, head toward a greater goal eventually. But uh, I'm going out to Brenton State Park in uh, Newport, Rhode Island to walk a loop. I haven't walked since uh, November 1st, so I'm looking forward to getting back into it. Beautiful day. It's uh, about 27 degrees out there right now with uh, wind chill. It's probably lower than that. No elevation today. The goal for today is just to uh, get my body used to walking again. I'm going to walk with a 20 pound rucksack today just to start off the new year right. And I uh, just want to make it a habit of hiking with some weight on my back. Hopefully, I'll increase as time goes by. Looking forward to a couple of section hikes this spring. You know, four to seven days. Maybe that's not significant or substantial to a lot of people, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I want to get out there. I want to get on the elevations. I want to get my body built up and my mind. And uh, I want to do some damage this year on the hiking trails and uh, make some decent videos and uh, just have some fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to some great hikes, some great views, some great workouts, and. Uh, having a good time. cold one out here today, I can tell. Got the skill seal skin gloves. Just keeping me pretty warm. Got my hat. Got my puffy for the first time in a while. I'm wearing it. So, of course, I guess first time in a while since I haven't really been walking in the winter yet. So, I'm also got my 20 pound ruck. They're older like I am. 59. You want to be careful if you're putting on a ruck with a with a weight in it. I actually tore my rotator cuff last year doing you know swinging it up on my shoulder put it on. So uh just gotta be careful putting it off. I ain't gotta be packing it back. Straps haven't been pulled on in quite a while. Alright. See how this works out today. Alright. Got the clock on. It is really good to be out here. Um, oh, it's beautiful today. And uh, you know, I was just thinking about. 2023 and how that all played out for me as far as hiking goes. I was all excited this time last year to hit the AT on 4 March with my two buddies, Chunky and Ginger Goat. And we did that. And we were on this trail for 18 days before I made the decision to uh, the Dista Trail. And uh, I thought, you know, of all kinds of excuses why I did that and uh, over the last nine months really it came down to me being impatient uh, self-doubt anxiety of the trail you know 24 7 discomfort wet cold muddy tired the chore the the camp chores at night when you're totally exhausted, but you gotta set your tent up, you gotta get water, you gotta all that stuff. Physically, I was fine. Mentally, I let all that get to me. I thought we should be doing more miles than we were, and we weren't gonna get the Katahdin on time, and <laughs> we weren't even into the beginning stages of our hike. I guess I psyched myself out and I uh, let it get the best of me. And the worst thing about it for me is I let 
two very dear friends down. And uh, I think about that a lot. I've apologized to both of them, of course. And yeah, they say, oh, it's okay. It was a great adventure. And I'll always remember it. And, uh, and it was. It was a great adventure. And we had a good time. And we just kept going a little longer. If I kept going a little longer, I may have even done a day or two more. Because by the time I actually quit, I had rethought my decision to quit. I thought, oh, this is awesome. I can keep going. And then I thought, no. I'm going to keep experiencing the same things, and I'm just going to get me off the trail. So anyway, I came home. When I first got home, took a couple of weeks off, and I was like, oh my God, what did I do? You know, I wanted to hike the AT. I didn't make it 18 days. I'm off the trail. I'm home. It's a little embarrassing in a way, um, because I'd really thought this thing up. And... Uh, Anyway, it was tough. And uh, so I got back into hiking and doing long walks and, and uh, motored around on that until about July. That was about June, I guess, middle of June. And I hurt myself. Slipped on a rock, hurt my back. And after that, I sporadically walked and hiked weekends and on days when I felt like it. I need to flick in my hands because I'm getting tired. Uh, but, uh, Anyway, I was just uh, kind of half into it. And there's a point from uh, September to October where I really just kind of sat on the couch think about all this stuff. October, I got out for a couple hikes. They were nice, they were great. And then uh, November came and uh, I just stopped walking. And uh, my excuse was to take the holidays off. Maybe it wasn't an excuse, I think it was actually a good idea. And, uh, you know, give me a lot of time to think about how bad I want to do this. As December got here, I really started kind of yearning to get out and walk and uh, do some hikes. So here I am in 2024. I still want to hike the AT. Um, I, love, I love walking. I love hiking. So, some things I want to do for 2024, my plan is to use January and February to start walking again, get some bigger walking miles in, there won't be a lot of elevation, but I do plan on carrying a truck with me everywhere I go. I've been doing intermittent fasting now since October, and it works. It's slow and steady, but man, it works. I feel a lot better, clothes fit better, I'm losing weight. My goal is to get down to 200 pounds. Uh, this year I'm including some gym workouts on legs, stair stepper, squats, lunges, that kind of thing. Although physically, I was good on the AT, you know, last year when we went out. Um, I could I could have done some more of that. And another thing I want to do is uh, after February, I want to start doing some section hikes. So in March, probably be like Connecticut, Massachusetts, because I want to go back and finish that, since that's what I set out to do in August, and I only did two days of it. So I decided in December 2023, a month ago, that my goals for 2024 would be to train for a 2025 AT through hike. And uh, that's why I'm out walking today. Plan on doing a lot of road walks to begin, leading into some elevation, and then in uh, March, some section hikes, Connecticut and Massachusetts. And then in September of 2024, I was invited to hike Mount Katahdin with some friends of mine. I'm very excited about that. And then with a goal of a February or March reattempt, March, February, March 2025 reattempt of the Appalachian Trail. <sighs> All right. 
Well, my six and a quarter mile road walk with a 20 pound rock that's come to an end. It warmed up out here. It was 27 when I started. Not sure what it is right now, but it's a lot warmer. Of course, I've been walking, so I started sweating, took the gloves and hat off. But uh, good, first day out. First day, uh, first walk of 2024. So, I just finished what ended up being a 6.31 mile road walk with a 20 pound ruck on a beautiful day in Newport, Rhode Island. So, like I said, <laughs> Great road walk for first day of, uh, actually first hike or first road walk of 2024. This is the 2nd of January, so starting the new year outright. And uh, anyway, looking forward to a lot more walks, a lot more hikes, and uh, we'll see you in, uh, in some more videos.